Here is the heart and soul of Cass High School, our wonderful media center, which is conveniently located in the center of our aging building. The media center serves our 1,400 students and over 100 faculty members. Currently, the media center is home to 15 desktop computers, 48 laptops, which we warmly refer to as COWs, meaning computers on wheels, one student copy machine, an abundance of topical magazines, and an array of books both for leisure and research. Also contained within the Media Center is a teacher workspace that is equipped with 10 desktop computers, a printer, and two copy machines. This space is essential to the teachers at Cass High because we have 24 learning cottages that are not provided with internet. At Cass High School, we have been blessed with two wonderful Media Center specialists. Michelle Herring is very talented with technology. Here, she is working hard to improve the Cass High School website. Ms. Gentry Hildress came to us from Virginia with a background in English language arts. She focuses on the literary aspects of the Cass Media Center. Because our media center is in the middle of our school building, students often use it as a cut through during class change. When students try and cut through the media center during class change, Ms. Hildress quickly puts an end to their shenanigans. Reading is very important to the growth of a young mind. In our media center, we promote reading several ways. Here is one example. This is Corbin Blue of the High School Musical. and He is encouraging the students at Cass High School to read. WWE superstars also encourage our students to read. The faculty and staff at Cass High School were ecstatic to see that these superstars could read something other than picture books. The literary program at Cass High School is called Extreme Reading. This program rewards students for completing literature reviews on the books they've read. Coach McCrary believes the Extreme Reading program rocks. A large portion of the book collection at Cass is devoted to fiction books. Students at CAS are encouraged to always have a book with them for downtime during the day and for our study hall period. At the present time, the most popular fiction books amongst our students are the Twilight series. While there are many copies available for each book, there is still a waiting list for the series. If you're not a Twihard, but still lover of vampires, perhaps Hank the Vampire Cat will be just what you crave. If vampires are not to your liking, we also have the popular Left Behind series available to the students. No library would be complete without a nonfiction section. Students utilize this portion of the Media Center for their class projects and schoolwork. One area of the nonfiction section that social studies teachers can use in their U.S. history classrooms is the World War II section. One particular book from the nonfiction section that I use in my economics classroom is Freakonomics. It is about how incentives matter in all aspects of life. Our nonfiction section even contains books on topics such as the World Wide Web and podcasting that would be useful in my master's program at Georgia Southern University. Our media center is also home to our English language arts library. This is a collection of novels and great books that are required reading by our English teachers according to the Georgia Performance Standards. If you find yourself doing research in the Media Center, you can use several tools that our Media Center has available. One is Galileo through the internet, and another are these world book encyclopedias. Our Media Center offers some books just for teachers. These books can be found in the professional collection. One such example of a book in the professional collection is Harry Wong's First Days of School. Remember, there's the right way, and then there's the Wong way. Another book in the professional collection is Jim Collins' book, Good to Great. In this book, Collins discusses that being good is the enemy of being great. We must not be satisfied with being good, but we must work to be great. Along with books, our media center even provides magazines and newspapers. Here is our wonderful, fantastic senior guidance counselor, Mr. Silver, making his daily stop by the media center to peruse the newspaper. Here is Mr. Silver being awarded the guidance counselor of the year award. 
Due to the lack of technology in my classroom, the Media Center provides computers for my students to type up their research findings. Here are my wonderful psychology students completing a case study for brain function as portrayed in the popular 80s film Rain Man. The Media Center is home to our school's cows, the computers on wheels. We have two sets of cows, each containing 24 Acer netbooks. The cows are a great resource for those teachers who are in the mobile learning units. Here, my students are working on practice economics exams using usatestprep.com. Teachers can check out videos from our media center. However, next year, we will not need a VHS tape or a DVD because all movies will be streamed over the internet from a central server found in the media center. Because we have mobile learning chateaus with no internet at Cass High School and a large number of teachers who float, the media center becomes home to many nomadic teachers on their planet period. While in the media center, you can use the coffee maker to make yourself a cup of coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. Here I am making copies for my U.S. history students in the teacher workroom contained within the media center. Also contained in the media center is a flat screen television which is mounted above the circulation desk. It is perfect for catching a news update. If the teacher needs to show a PowerPoint or a video in class, then they can come to the media center and check out a LCD projector on a media card. Teachers can also use our new document reader in the classroom to project any paper document. This comes in handy when the copy machine jams. A new addition to the media center is the e-beam. Teachers can use this device to turn any regular whiteboard into an interactive Promethean or smart board. For many of our technology disabled teachers, an old school overhead projector gets the job done. And if iTunes is not your thing, you can use this tape player. If you wish to check out any of this technology, all you have to do is let the Media Center Specialist scan the barcode on each item. Next year, we will be leaving our current residents behind and moving into a brand new facility across the county. One of the benefits of this move will be an increased amount of space in the media center and the addition of many new pieces of technology for both students and faculty. Our new media center will quadruple in size. It will be able to hold many more books, tables, and computers. The media center will also have windows offering natural light which will make it much more comfortable for teachers and students as they read. Also, the media center will not be located in the middle of the school. Therefore, Ms. Hilders won't have to act as the cut-through Nazi anymore. As you can tell, the new media center will be able to service the learner of the 21st century.